was not built in a day. Neither was India. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fact Flash. This is Krishna Patel. Looking at the economic condition of the neighboring countries, Sri Lanka and Pakistan right now, India is uh, remembering the situation that India had to face in 1990. When India was on the verge of bankruptcy, when India was nail-closed to getting bankrupt. Then what happened? How did the fate of India change? India, the superpower today, the country where the entire world, including the United States of America, looks upon with a lot of hopes. How did India become the superpower? To tell you about this, I will have to take you down. We will have to do a major throwback to 30 years ago. What happened? Who changed the fate of India? Do you remember Dr. Manmohan Singh, who was often trolled while he was the Prime Minister for being quiet during uh, meetings and summits and even in the Parliament? You all do, right? So who was Dr. Manmohan Singh and why is he the reason that India got back on its foot? Today's India has become India which shows the direction to the world. India has become a sympathizer by helping the world in any critical situation. We talk about COVID. India was on its toes, helping the other countries by making sure that vaccinations reached everywhere, by providing other medical helps as well. India helped Sri Lanka. India helped Nepal while earthquake. And now India is helping Turkey. India has helped the world by showing humanity with an open heart. And because of this today, the world is looking at India with so much hope. Let's talk about Pakistan, a.k.a. India's enemy country. Pakistan and its citizens today are openly talking to the media, in the media, about how India has gone too far in terms of success. In terms of success, India and Pakistan, both the countries, got its independence on the very same day and how India is helping today. They're also saying that uh, if Pakistan had maintained good relations with India, India would be helping Pakistan today as well. India comes on the list of the top uh, 10 most powerful countries in the world. With that, coming back to Dr. Manmohan Singh, the person that is known to have changed India's economical condition and its fate. Now, uh, 30 years ago, like I said, in 1990, that was one dark night for India. The world had refused. Banks across the world, including the IMF, had refused to give India loans. India had to mortgage its gold in foreign banks. This happened in 1990. The country was in major, major trouble. Three prime ministers have been changed in three years. The assassination of former prime minister Rajiv Gandhi the killing of Pandits in Kashmir, the Ayodhya Babri Masjid incident, and the very important, the US attack on Iraq. India did not have any money to buy things coming from outside, anywhere in the country. The price of crude oil was touching the sky. To get rid of all this, India had even mortgaged its goal, like I said, for some time. The country did not repay the loan of foreign banks. It was on the verge of uh, coming in the list of major defaulters. But then after, India got its breakthrough. Something happened which bought a golden face for this country. Dr. Manmohan Singh, the former RBI governor and finance minister in uh, B.V. Narsimha Rao's government. He was also the former prime minister of uh, India. At that time, we had very few cash on hand left to. Dr. Manmohan Singh's budget, which gave India speed of rocket, and India went on the lane of development. India started moving towards uh, economic independence, after independence. That day was 24th of July, P.V. Narsimha Rao's government and budget was being presented by the then finance minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. No one could have imagined what was going on in Dr. Manmohan Singh's head. Dr. Manmohan Singh's words are still remembered by people. The time had come to implement an idea in India that was going to change India's destiny.
forever. It was five o'clock in the evening. The budget session of the parliament was going on. The date, I repeat, was 24th July 1991. There was the Congress government in power. And it had just been a few days since they came into power with, uh, you know, very difficult majority. The economic challenges in front of the government, they were wavering. And on top of that was the opposition. The reins of this government were in the hands of strong Congress leader, as they call Mr. P. V. Narsimha Rao. He acted as the finance minister to run the accounts of the country. Dr. Manmohan Singh was then the economic advisor of uh, then former Prime Minister Chandra Shekhar. Dr. Manmohan Singh presented the first budget of the government. In the budget speech, which was of around 19,000 words, Manmohan Singh made a bold economic reform. Now that was based on the flow of capital. And what was it then? So Dr. Manmohan Singh had opened India's doors to the world, gave security and convenience to investors, investment came into the country. Private jobs. The youth got new opportunities. At that time, the Prime Minister P.V. Narsimha Rao himself is not sure that all this was fine. He had also put everything on Dr. Manmohan. But today, due to that very same reason, India is flying high in the sky. Now, why did we tell you this story today? Or why did we talk about this specific incident today? That is because very often, we, the Gen Z, the youngsters, the millennials who had never... Now, why am I talking about this incident today? Our neighboring country, Pakistan, Currently, that is going through severe economic crisis. Again, Pakistan has been denied a loan from the IMF as well. UK is having one of the highest inflation ever. The United States of America is having major inflation. People of the US are worried. But there was a time when India had to go through a similar situation. And look at the way we overcame that. Today, India is one of the most powerful countries in the world. And this is what made India one of the most powerful countries in the world. The effort might be very small, but that small effort is one of the reasons why India is what it is today. So with this and a lot more unheard stories, make sure that you keep watching The Fact Flash with me, Krishna Patel.